songs are like your relatives. They always come around this time of year. Maybe they stay a little longer than we want, but deep down, we'll always love them. I love them. CBS News cultural <laughs> correspondent Winton Marsalis knows all about the sounds of the season. As musicians, playing Christmas music is an inevitable but welcome annual tradition. Ever since we learned to first blow a horn or beat a drum, we've been playing these classics. There's comfort in that continuity, but more importantly, this music fosters a feeling of community. Instruments up, ready, and... All across our country this time of year, school bands and choirs, like the ones at Friends Academy on Long Island, are working together to put on their big holiday concert. And there's something wonderfully reassuring in that. It's familiar, and any time uh, you're at a concert and you hear something familiar that, uh, that gets you excited, uh, you feel like you, it takes you back, maybe inspires some memories that you have of your childhood. Even if the process of getting there involves painstaking practice and can be at times excruciating. The end result is always uplifting and beautiful. We all have a unique emotional connection to holiday music. It brings us home to family, urges us to celebrate and to enjoy everything else that makes this the most wonderful time of the year. But really it's more than that. Whether an orchestral masterpiece with spiritual significance, an anthem for a cause, or a frivolous tune about the most unlikely hero. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer. Each song is special, and together, they all excite our collective memory. Frosty the snowman. Frosty is the same snowman today as he was in 1950. Bing Crosby continues to grace the airwaves. And it's once again that same lovely weather for a sleigh ride with you. Of course, there are new takes on these old chestnuts. The same Yuletide songbook has been around for centuries. But regardless of generation or creed, Christmas carols lead us all in word, rhythm, and tune down different paths to the very same conclusion, family, friends, and fun. And at this time of year, we couldn't ask for anything more except toys. Winton Marsalis is here. So what is your very, 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 very favorite? Yeah. Sleigh, sleigh ride. Sleigh ride. Oh, sleigh ride. Leroy Anderson. Good. Yeah. Trumpet yeah. players love sleigh ride. Yeah. But do you enjoy singing? No. <laughs> no. I don't, I don't like to do that. But you love yeah. Christmas songs too, Winton. I do. Just like I love every, them. Why do you love them so much? Because they remind you of everything, even before you were born. And there's always something good. It's always joyous. And even, yeah. the, even the religious, the really slow, somber songs have a joy to them. Is holiday music our folk music? I think it functions as our folk music now that we don't know our folk music. Yeah. Mm. You know, so, but we still have folk music. We just, we just, uh, we don't, we're going to learn it though eventually. Yeah. yeah. What about people so, that get so, upset with Christmas music and say, oh, it's on in the mall all the time? To, you know, kill joys. Right? I agree. I agree. <laughs> don't, don't, mess my, don't mess up my good time. Are you going to sing a little few notes of what you like best? Because you well, we'll burst into well, song, as we know. I do tend go to ahead. burst into song. To be into within song, 15 seconds. But I, like, I burst into song saying, it's the most wonderful, wonderful time of the year. year. Go ahead, Winton. No, no. <laughs> Thank you, Winton. That does it for us. Up next, your local news. We'll see you tomorrow on CBS <laughs> This Morning. <laughs> 